Today on the Bass Channel, we're checking out the Artificial Blonde from JHS Pedals. <laughs> Okay, right up top, it should be noted that this pedal was sent to me directly from JHS for this video to show you how it sounds. That doesn't really mean anything. And of course, we're still good friends with our friends over at Zound. So if you want to check out this pedal, another pedal, an amp, bass, strings, pick, cable, etc., etc., it helps us out quite a bit if you do so from our affiliate link through Zounds. Now, of course, using that link doesn't cost you anything extra. It just sends a little bit of a bone our way to help keep these lights on as a thank you for sending you in that direction. So without further ado, Let's check out the artificial blonde. So as you can tell by my t-shirt, I have no idea who Madison Cunningham is, but I love vibrato, so let's talk about this particular vibrato. In short, it is a dual channel vibrato pedal with a volume, an EQ, a foot switch to change the two channels, and of course it's the signature for Madison Cunningham. So now that you know that I don't know who she is, if Madison is watching, I apologize, but you're now going to hear me read a little bit of information from the website as if I do. At its core, the Artificial Blonde is a very simplistic approach to Madison's signature sound, a never-off, always-on, slightly 3D pitch vibrato sound. The second foot switch switches between the two speed and depth preset sections. It's a true pitch vibrato modulation pedal with two easy-to-access modes for live use. Simply put, this is Madison Cunningham in a box. Just add a clean Fender-style amp and tune your guitar strings down. Again, I don't know what that means, but that's what the website says. So let's go into something that I do know a little bit more about, and that's the controls. Surprise, surprise, the volume controls the overall volume of the pedal. Left is less, right is more. The EQ control is an active tilt EQ. Noon is flat, turning to the left boosts lows and cuts highs, while turning to the right boosts highs and cuts lows. The speed controls the rate of the vibrato, left is slower, right is faster. Depth controls the depth of the vibrato, left is less, right is more. There is one quarter inch jack on top for the input, and there are two quarter inch jack outputs. You can use the mono output for sending a mono signal path, or use both the mono and stereo output jacks for a 3D stereo soundscape. The left foot switch is your bypass, Obviously, you turn it on to engage the pedal, you turn it off to disengage the pedal, and the right foot switch selects between the two different presets. On power up, the default is preset B. Now, each preset has the same speed and depth range and allows you to create two different switchable settings. So a lot of the switch settings that we're using in this video, you'll see that I have a slightly deeper, slightly slower, switching to a slightly faster, slightly more shallow, because those are the two sounds that I typically find the most usable.
So when this pedal first arrived to me, I thought, cool, but I don't really see myself needing a dual channel vibrato, considering I don't really use vibrato all that often to begin with. But then I thought about it a little more, and the more I thought about it, the cooler this pedal seemed to me. Because again, I don't use vibrato all that often, but when I do kick it on, whether it's the Boss or the the old TC Electronic tone print one I, th I think they still make, I don't know, that's the one I used to have. Um, whenever I would kick it on, I, I actually really liked the sound, and I would typically set it a little bit kind of slow to moderate speed and shallow to moderate depth. So I treated it kind of like a chorus. I know some people like to treat it like a univibe. I'm not really about that flavor. I like that just slightly sort of shaky kind of chorus thing. But another type of chorus sound that I like to use is that faster, more shallow type of shimmery where you can sense that it's moving, but it's nowhere near seasick. Those are my two favorite types of chorus sound. Now again, vibrato is not exactly chorus, but the way that I approach it, I use it kind of in the same way to evoke sort of the same mood and achieve the same goal. So with that being said, I can dial in my two favorite different types of modulation in one pedal. Even if I don't know who Madison Cunningham is, this pedal's still pretty cool to have around because again, I can just switch those on the fly, even though I might not be doing too many live things these days, so it doesn't really matter for me to have a dual preset thing. If I was, or if you're like me and you like those two different type of modulation rates or any two modulation rates, this is tremendously simple to switch on the fly. So of course for that, I gotta give it bonus points because I love chorus, I love flanger, I love vibrato, I just love most modulations. Not so much univibe, but we'll talk about that another day. But vibrato is awesome and I kind of forgot how much I liked it because once I sold my old shaker, I just didn't really think about it anymore. But now that I have this, uh, I'm gonna be definitely using vibrato quite a bit more. Again, for some of the heavier stuff, um, maybe not, but for some of the more delicate, melodic, harmonic, type of things, it just adds that extra little bit of oomph, that sauce, that flavor, that real nice thing that just modulation gets. Whether you get that through chorus or flanger or phaser or vibrato, it's just cool to have all of those different options. <laughs>
Now, speaking of the t-shirt, again, there is a little bit of a cool vibrato sound on the intro to Sanitarium, or not the intro, but the first main riff. Either way, that's always kind of the sound that I really like out of vibrato, so I can easily achieve that and more with this pedal. So it is a thumbs up in my book, but of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And of course, if you wanna get one for yourself or another JHS pedal or another pedal that's not from JHS or something that's not even a pedal at all, we got the affiliate link down below to Zounds. Clicking that link doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps us out by sending a little bit of a kickback our way to keep these lights on, power running to this microphone, all of that sort of thing. It means a lot to us and it helps us out tremendously. But if you're not in the market for gear and you'd like to support us in a different way, you can, figuratively speaking, buy us a cup of coffee a month by signing up to our YouTube membership program or thing or whatever it's called, membership thing. It's $5 a month, you get access to exclusive members only videos and we're gonna start implementing some cool stuff throughout the year 2023. So stay tuned for that as well. Either way, whether you wanna buy something through our affiliate link, or you wanna be a member, or you just wanna watch this video and give it a like, dislike, comment, and a subscribe, it means a lot to us. That's about all I have to say, so thank you again for watching, be safe, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.